In today's Tech Check, more controversy over apps, subscriptions, and fees are higher when purchased through an app rather than a website, and it's because of the app tax. Joining us now is Rick Van Meter from the Coalition for App Fairness. Good to have you with us. Exactly what is an app tax? Why do you call it an app tax? Well, the app tax is a hidden fee that most people don't know they're paying when they make purchases uh, within an app. So for a uh, music streaming service or uh, a dating app or making purchases within a game. Uh, so Apple and Google uh, charge 30% of revenue on these types of purchases and, and people you know, don't see it. And that, that's why we call it an app tax. Why do tech companies charge an app fee? Don't they deserve money though for putting the apps out there? Sure, they deserve something, and, and folks should be paid a commission for payments that they process. But typically, uh, in the business world, we see a, an industry standard rate for credit card transactions at about three to five percent. They're charging thirty percent because they can get away with it. Uh, there is no competition in this marketplace, and they they force uh, these digital uh, services apps, which are about fifteen percent of apps. Um, to use their proprietary payment service, uh, and they they extract the fee uh, through there. So the business is paying the fee, but ultimately that gets passed on to consumers. How can this be fixed? And are consumers trying to stop this? Sure. Well, they're certainly trying to stop it. Um, one thing people can do is is be good consumers, and they can uh, you know rather than just taking the convenient route of, of subscribing to a service directly through an app, they should check uh, on the website using a desktop or laptop computer uh, to make sure that they are getting the best deal. And uh, in many cases, the prices actually might be lower uh, when you actually go to the services website directly, not through the app. Uh, and part of the problem is that you know developers are prohibited from directly communicating with their consumers about payment options. Uh, otherwise, they might be kicked off the App Store. So, you know, some of our members can't tell their users about uh, potential student discounts or family plans that could save them money. Uh, so not only are they paying more, but they can't, um, they can't get the best user experience. But oh, unfortunately, this is something that probably Congress needs to intervene on. Um, so we're, we're very supportive of a bill called the Open App Markets Act. Um, this would address many of these specific anti-competitive practices that we are seeing from Apple and Google um, and introduce competition and transparency into this marketplace for the first time. And we believe that will lower prices and, and ultimately benefit uh, consumers across the country. Who are the members in your coalition? Yes. Uh, so we have about 70 members, all app developers, about half in the United States, about half in Europe. Uh, some of our larger members you've probably heard of are Epic Games, uh, Spotify, Match Group, which owns dating uh, apps and, and websites, uh, a company called Tile. And we, we have developers, you know, uh, of all sizes, we have we have large developers, medium-sized developers, and and very small, you know, one man and, and woman shops. So um, we we really represent the interests of app developers here uh, against the two uh, gatekeepers, Apple and Google. Thank you for making us aware. Thank you so much for having me. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.